And now to a man who has been the focus of several investigations over the years into a controversial probate practice. The Michigan Attorney General once suspended Cecil St. Pierre. So why are the taxpayers suddenly paying his salary in Warren? Seven investigator Heather Catalo has this update. We need to talk to you real quick, sir. Yeah, we do. For years, Cecil St. Pierre has been at the center of Warren politics and controversial probate practices. What's your reaction to be su being suspended by the Attorney General? I resigned. No, you were suspended for I resigned. But this public official has never liked our cameras. Mr. St. Pierre, we just no, want to talk to you for a minute. Rig. You're, you're, you're rig. Now, the former Warren City Council president is back in the spotlight, this time for taking a job as an assistant city attorney in Warren's law department. His middle name is controversy and it follows him everywhere he goes. The seven investigators first showed you how St. Pierre used his authority as an attorney general appointed public administrator to open probate estates and bill for legal fees after someone died, often without the rightful heirs knowing. Cecil St. Pierre appearing on behalf of the, the estate, Your Honor. What we uncovered ultimately got the law in Michigan changed to protect families, and St. Pierre was no longer allowed to open those estates. Last night, some members of the Warren City Council criticized Mayor Jim Fouts for hiring St. Pierre. They allege St. Pierre's past violations of the Open Meetings Act while he was on council have cost the city more than $500,000 in legal fees. Now he's going to be rewarded with a full-time job. What is that? Our citizens deserve better than that. Mayor Fouts and the council have been entrenched in a relentless political battle. We should not let our personal vendettas against the mayor or St. Pierre interfere with us doing what's good for this city. Fouts told the seven investigators he had nothing to do with St. Pierre being hired for the position that will pay St. Pierre more than $105,000. Warren officials say the position must be chosen through the city's Civil Service Commission. Originally, six candidates made the Civil Service list for promotion. But then a new civil service list was made with just two people on it, Cecil St. Pierre and another staff attorney with eight years of experience with the city. City officials say that attorney has now filed a union grievance alleging the city violated its own rules when it used that second list. It just smells. It just doesn't uh, look right, especially when you have enough, when you have a significant number of people on the inside who have the qualifications. Was this the right thing to do? No, it was definitely not the right thing to do. Um, this smacks of cronyism. Again, the mayor is denying there's anything improper going on here and told me today he thinks this controversy is all part of a broader plan by the city council to undermine his administration. I have tried contacting Cecil St. Pierre so far. He has not responded to comment on this, but one of his new bosses at the city law department says he has a lot of experience and she seems excited about this new hire. Dave. Heather, thank you.